Yo, what up guys, OPTCG Daniel here, back at it again with a deck profile video. Today we're gonna do one of the newest leaders, it is Black Yellow Monkey D. Luffy. Your face-up life cards are placed at the bottom of your deck instead of being added to your hand, according to the rules. If you play the deck correctly, that will almost never happen. Don't 2, activate main once per turn, you may trash one card from your hand. If you have zero life cards, add up to two character cards with a cost of five from your hand or trash to the top of your life cards face up. So yeah, uh, the rule is you want to go to zero as quickly as possible. If you have a good five cost in your hand or in your trash, now you can just play them out using your small versions of the cards, put them into life, and then you can get them onto the field. You become a 9k leader, so you just sit behind the blockers and a 9k leader. And then you can just uh, redo it every turn, just get cards in your life. And that's how this deck uh, is being played and wins. Uh, you can definitely beat this deck if you just grind them out, because their resources will stop at the moment. But yeah, that's it for the leader. And I'm sorry that it's so zoomed in. My uh, camera is doing really weird, so I hope I c it can capture all the cards. But yeah, for our one costs, we of course play four times Monkey D. Garp. So Garp is our searcher. On play, look at five cards on top of your deck. Reveal up to one Sabo, Ace or Luffy with a cost of five or less added to your hand. Place them at the bottom in any order you want. So yeah, this is just the searcher. And thankfully I got at least one for my packs. Then we go into other one case. I mean, one costs. We play four times Makino. So Makino is ju basically just our 2k counter. But also really neat effect. Uh, if your opponent doesn't want to let you go down to low life, you just play this. On play, you may add one card from the top of your deck top or bottom of your life to your hand, look at all your life cards and place them in back in any order you want. Uh, usually you just want to use this when you're at one health, if they won't attack you, so your leader effect won't be active, just play this, take the life, you don't have to look. Uh, if you want to do it early in the game, sure you can, but just use this for the end game when you are at one life. Play this, go to zero, and then you can uh, use your leader ability. Now we go into the small kids. Children, I don't know. We play four times ace. So yeah, this basically works the same as the Jarma engine almost. Uh, activate the main, you may trash this character. Refill one card from top of your life cards. If that card is port cost the ace with a cost of five, you may play that card. If you do up to one of your leaders, gain it as a power until the end of your opponent's next turn. So you just become a 7k leader in your turn and in your opponent's turn. And then when it's your turn again, you're just a 5k leader. So when you play this, you're playing defensive because your leader, your leader is 7 and you have a good card on the field that's ace. So uh, don't use it blindly. Using it blindly is very risky, of course. So you want to use this when you're at the leader ability. When you have two lives in your life that you know of, that you can see with your face-up ability. Play this, get the ace out. Uh, leader becomes 7. Yeah, nothing to talk about. Or you just use it for monkey counter if you have to. Then for our other small bodies, we play four times Monkey D. Luffy. Uh, Monkey D. Luffy is the same, but then it only works for Luffy. So, yeah. Also, 2,000 power. So if you play it well, you will have 9k leader every turn. Because you have to play two of them when you have two lives face up. And of course, we also play Sabo four times. So these are just your starters or enablers of the deck to get uh, the combo going. And if you run out of these, then you're kind of... yeah. In a bad spot. You could play that the done maybe, but still really risky. Then for our other two costs, we play four times Hiyori. So Hiyori is really nice. Uh, if you don't have any way to look at your life or you break or you just want to take a bottom life, put a face up life there. No, oh, sorry. And then you can just place an ace, Saba or Luffy. And then you can play the small body. Your leader becomes seven. You have a body on the field. And then you can just swing for seven and be seven in your opponent's turn. Be mindful though, uh, the ace only works at two lives, so don't play it early with your uh, Yori, if else you will have just a yeah, still body on the field. Then we go into the four costs. So I am personally a fan of uh, four times Borsalino. It's one of the annoying blockers, and it is really hard to get rid of, especially with Sakazuki being bent almost. So yeah, definitely get this for some protection, and we can play this with the eight cost Moria, of course. So you have more targets. Now we go into our five costs. We play, of course, four times the Monkey D. Luffy from the starter deck. So yeah, 
5 cost 6k, 1000 counter, activate main once per turn. This character gains 2000 power until the start of your next turn. Then if you have one or more life cards, draw one and trash one and cards on top of your life. So the Makino you want to use at one life, but you want to use this at two lives if your opponent doesn't attack you. Uh, they usually just will contest for board when you play against this deck, so yeah. You have to be mindful about uh, that decks will all counter you, especially Moria with the Isho. But still, uh, if they don't hit you, play this, play Makino, you're at zero lives, and yeah, and then you can just go ham. Then for our other five costs, we play Ace. So like I said, Ace you always want to use when you're at two lives or less. Why? Because on play, if you have two or less life cards, this character gains rush. So you can play it for free basically from your life with a Sabo or with a different card and you could just swing with your leader for 7 because your leader is 7 if you used Ace to get this out. And then you can just swing 2 times 7 and people should know how good 2 times 7 is really in this game. But yeah, good card. Then into other 5 costs we play 4 times blocker Sabo. So this Sabo also works with the baby Sabo because it's just the name Sabo. Uh, yeah. On play, none of your characters can be KO'd by effects until so of your next turn. Really good against Moria. Then draw two cards and trash two cards. So if you have some five cost bodies in your hand that you don't want to have in your hand, you can trash them. You can draw two cards or draw two cards, trash the 5k bodies. So you can set up for your uh, uh, small body plays into the big ones for your life. And just playing this on the field gives you a blocker that's uh, unkillable and that's really good because, yeah. They will just swing into your life for big numbers and you can just book it and if you're lucky you can play it again with your subbo. Really good cards, definitely a 4 of in this deck. And then for other subbo, we only play 2 times subbo from the starter deck. Uh, yeah, it's a 5 cost, 6k, 1000 counter. On play, you may trash 1 card from the top of your life area. K up to one of your opponent's cards with a cost of 5 or less. Uh, it's really good, but you want to be really careful uh, how you play this card. If it's in your life, your last life, don't uh, use it. Well, you you well yeah, you could. But don't use it re uh, recklessly. You only play two of them. Uh, sure, they are recurrable, but still, uh, I've seen a lot of gameplays where people actually made misplays with this. They just play it, they had zero lives, and then their opponent just attacked into their leader. So be careful when to play this, um, use your blocker sabo instead, unless you are safe to KO something or you need to get rid of something and you can just have a follow-up turn. That's why only two. Then for other five costs, this is uh, three times Satori. So Satori is just a 2k counter, but also it's a five cost, so if you don't have uh, anything from your trash or your other cards or you want to trigger stuff, you can play this instead of the... 5 cost with your leader ability, and also with the Hiyori. But yeah, it's just a 2k counter, but if it comes up, it comes up. And ignore the sleeves, they're in my main deck. But yeah. Then for our 8 costs, we play, of course, 4 times Gekko Moria. So I played a lot of games on the sim, and I just had a game where I had 4 of this in my hand, and I died really quickly. So, yeah, this card is really bricky. But still, on play, choose up to 1 character cut with a cost of 4 or less. So, 4 or less. And up to one character with a cost of two or less from your trash. Play one card active and another one rested. So yeah, you can play this to get a Borsalino out. And then with a uh, two cost. And then you can use a two cost to change into Sabo if you are ace or whatever. Or you just play two two costs. Or you play uh, Hiyori. Uh, stuff like that. You have a lot of combos with this deck. So you're not limited to only playing a four cost. Like we all know the Sabo and uh, Epsilon. But you can also play less cost of course. But yeah, good card, uh, big number, can swing for big, and uh, this really makes the deck insanely good. And then for our last two cards, I only played two times the Three Brothers uh, Searcher event. Uh, main, look at five cards on top of your deck, reveal up to one, Sabo, Ace, or Monkey Delivery with a cost of five or less, add it to your hand. Then place the rest at the bottom of the deck in any order, and the trigger is activate this card's main ability. So yeah, speaks for itself. But yeah, that's the deck profile for the Monkey D. Luffy. Uh, it's a really fun deck to play. It's really annoying to play against, especially if you don't know how the deck works. But also, they're getting the flambe and they're getting more support in the upcoming sets. So this, as you know, is really top meta in Japan. Uh, yeah, that's all to talk about. If you guys like the video, give it a like. If you dislike it, dislike it. If you want to see more content, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.